Hey, back in 1976, Steve Edelman started a show on Five Eyewitness News called Twin Cities Today. It had a good little run, but it wasn't until Steve started hosting Good Company that things really took off. Along with his partner and eventual wife, Sharon, this little daytime talk show became a massive success. In fact, it was one of the most popular shows of its kind in the country. Oh, it's so fun to see this. Even though Good Company went off the air in 1994, many of us who grew up here in the Twin Cities have fond memories of Good Company. I know I'm not alone there. And that especially holds true for us here on Twin Cities Live because they recorded that show right here in this studio. That's why we have such good vibes in here all the time. Very good vibes. Mm -hmm. And we're thrilled right now to welcome back the hosts of Good Company. Without further ado, let's hear it for Steve and Sharon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh. Okay. What do you uh, think? Now what do we do? I love your set. I think it's beautiful. It is. And it's, it's, it's really interesting to be back here because it doesn't feel that different. It was a live You know, audience. our audience was right there yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's okay, great. so does it feel like you're transported back in time? Is it like good, happy memories when you walk right into this building? You know, when we were out in the front coming in, I remember we were fly fishing with Jimmy Carter, president. I've heard that story. And when we did it, and when we did it, it was really hot and it was in August. And we had these fish in this pool. Trout. And it took so long to get Jimmy out there, they all died. No way. Yes, so he was pretending, dead. you know, and that we Jimmy were catching fish. Jimmy was still fish. fly fishing and he never caught a thing. <laughs> no, I think we put a, I think maybe we put a fish on the hook during the commercial break <laughs> or something. So it looked like he was fish, actually. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, a lot of you, memories here. You know, when yeah. you look back at the, at the success of Good Company, I mean, what do you think brought it all together and made it something that people were so attached to? Because we, I'm not kidding you guys, everywhere we go, people ask, did you ever hear of Good Company? And I'm yeah. like, yes, I grew up here. No, no not really. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, we love the Twin Cities. Uh, and we, it was an opportunity, I think, to kind of mirror back the best of the Twin Cities to the cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the staff I and mean, the people that were on the air with us were amazing. I mean, Gary Lumpkin and Mike Brunswick. And we had a, you know, we had a team of people that were really good. And, of course, we were getting married. So people like that, too. <laughs> And we're still married. Isn't that terrific? Let me ask and we're still married. Uh, let me ask you about that. Thank you for that. Uh, my, wife, my wife was in the business for a while, and we worked together for about two years. How'd that work We're out? still married. She's just not in the business anymore. Uh -huh. My gosh, I mean, how did you guys do it and come out here? Because certainly, I'm, I know you have a perfect marriage, but... There, never fought once. There, no. there had to have been no. some days where maybe things weren't really going real well, but you come out here every day, and I mean, it's you got to have the smiles on, right? Yeah, uh, you know, we met uh, on the air yeah. because Steve hired me to do the morning show before Good Company. We did four years of a show called Twin Cities Today, yes. um, which was live. Mm -hmm. And I think we just always had that rapport from the beginning where we're used to working together. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did have to create a kind of rhythm yeah. working together so I we weren't stepping on each other's time. And excuse me, I just interrupted you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've lost the rhythm. Not true. <laughs> no, it's, uh, you know, we did the show uh, Good Company for 12 years. Sharon carried me all 12 years. Aww. I mean, she had the, she's, you know, she's got a He's great... arm candy. No, yeah, that's <laughs> no, no, it. Yeah, I... Right. Uh, the joke was uh, that, let's see, uh, I was the eye candy and she was the brains. Uh, this, no. <laughs> no, whatever. And it's an amazing you know, it really joke. Can I explain work. that? No, anyway... <laughs> But we like, we like that yeah. opening segment where we got to come out and talk because people would say, well, don't you talk at home? Because you're talking about what's on the show today. Yeah. You know, as if, and we said, no, actually, we don't before we get into the studio. We like to have that time to sort of yeah. be fresh with each other when we, when we talk the first segment through anyway. Also, yeah. I think, you know, to be honest, I think when you're on the air, like you guys were on the air mm -hmm. together, there's sort of a performance energy. You know, you want it to work. Yeah. So you're sort of, you're thinking yeah. about things that are really positive and fun and, you know, upbeat and, you know, like that. So it, is it a real relationship? Kind of, kind of not. You know what I mean? It's only the up parts that you're doing I on thought the it air. was real. <laughs> Honey. Did you just now make you're some telling kind of me. <laughs> <laughs> now these two are it in the office so and they're good. on the couch. Yeah, that's, and really that's true. Into things. That's right. You guys shared so many, you know, so many special moments, so much of your life, including uh, the birth of your son, David. Right, you talked right. about that right after. You had a camera 
in the delivery room no. like right after? No, well, that, right that was after, a rumor. Though. That was a rumor. Oh, that was Look a rumor. But no. I mean, right no. after the baby oh, was born, goodness, it was like, here we go. Yeah. That was the oh, day after. Oh. I had a C-section, so I didn't appear. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was Steve the day after. Yeah. yeah it was little David, who's now 28 years old. Oh my yes. God. Oh, look at you. It's so sweet. And oh, there he yes, is. There's our now. son now. Yeah, and he yeah. works for the White House, right? He does. Yeah. 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 He is in cyber affairs. He's a cyber policy guy. So is guy. he still at his? I mean, is he furloughed now with everything yes. with the yes. shutdown? Or yeah, yes. actually, he is. Is he going to move home? No. <laughs> no, 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 because no. he's in D.C. and we're in San Francisco. Yeah. yeah, no, he's hoping to go back to work soon, so we all hope yeah. they are. So everybody's wondering what you're doing now, because, of course, you left the Twin Cities, you moved to San Francisco, mm -hmm. you guys had a production company that you were right. doing all sorts of great shows with, and so what's, what's up, what are you up to now? How are you guys spending your days? Well, you know, a project orientation, kind mm -hmm. of. So I did a workshop that had nothing to do with TV. When I left TV... My thought was I wanted to see if there was some other way of looking at the world other than through the lens of TV. Yeah. And so I tried this thing, which is to uh, life planning workshops mm -hmm. for people who want to figure out what's next for them. And that was really a lot of fun. Did that for a while. That's terrific. Yeah, it really is interesting. It's sort of psych psychological and people interacting. But if you love, you always loved. You loved interviewing people. I'm assuming you loved getting to know them and hearing right. their stories. That seems kind of like a natural progression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there was an opportunity for people to talk from the heart to each other about what they really care about. So it was really taking what you do on TV and taking it to a more serious level. Um, now, as a small group of people, I mean, here you guys are talking to, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Millions and millions, and, yes, Steve, you know, yeah, you. There's a, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> there's a gazillion people out there watching <laughs> this. But um, this was like 24 people, but it, it was really a nice thing. And I heard you guys have another baby. Um, his name is Sam. He is yes, he's a baby. Sam. Let's see Sam. Baby. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so he, you guys are busy with the baby Sam. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, he walks me every day. <laughs> he's absolutely gorgeous and very sweet. He's a Tibetan terrier, and we hadn't known about this breed until we got him. But now I walk him, and everybody goes, oh, what kind of dog is that? He's so yeah. beautiful. And if, they, if they don't say something like that, he looks at them like... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I know, it's hysterical. He's very arrogant, but he's also beautiful and fun. He's How's San Francisco? Are you guys living out, you guys yeah. like living in San Francisco? And you're living in the city? It's nice. Yeah. We, we lived in um, uh, Marin County when mm -hmm. we first went out there, yeah. and our son was in school out there, and Steve's office was out there over the Golden Gate Bridge, which is gorgeous, warm weather, big, uh, high up on a hill. Uh, and then just two years ago, we moved to the city because David was gone and we thought we wanted an adventure, but we wanted to stay out there. Right. So we moved right into the heart of the city and we've had so much fun. Yeah, exploring. we thought we just changed our lifestyle. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think that's one of the keys of staying together as a couple, you yeah. know, she's keep taking on new adventures. Mm -hmm. So this adventure mm -hmm. was, why are we in the suburbs? Let's right. go to the city, which we have never, we've never, have we ever lived in a city? No, uh-uh. I don't think well, so. Well, we so lived in Minneapolis, but we lived by the lakes. Yeah, yeah. So it was, right, yeah. right. But this is right in the middle yeah. of the city, and it's great. I mean, we can, you know, jump in a cab and get to a speech or a play or, a, you know, all kinds of good stuff. We love yeah. it. You guys, it's this really is nice. so much fun to have you here, and you're going to stick around. We're not done with you. We're going to keep you here. We have some great things. We're going to get some stories, some great <gasps> guests. Jerry Seinfeld, Cindy Crawford. We're going to ask you about some of those memorable oh, moments. Oh, memorable fabulous. moments of good okay. company when we come back. <laughs> yeah. for us here because Steve and Sharon, the hosts of the, just, I mean, you all know it. You all love it. Good Company are back in the studio for the first time since you hosted Good Company. Yeah. That's this true. is so That's true, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a long time. So we're going to go through some really special, memorable, fun mm -hmm. moments that we pulled out of the archives. And there's like tons of video of you guys around this building. Really? And we found some okay. really fun moments. We're going to quiz you on every guest. Yeah, every already. single detail. Oh, oh, what did <laughs> they say? What were they wearing? <laughs> okay, so first of all, actually tickets to see Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld in Minneapolis just went on sale oh, yeah. today. He's going to be oh, here really? in January. Yeah. Oh. And uh, he was on Good Company. Yes. Several times. Several Seinfeld times. was here and, and he told us this is just before he got his show and he was going to hear that day if he got his big show. No way. Oh, wow. And he said yes. to us, he really didn't care if he got it or not because everything was fine. It was okay if he didn't get it. And of course, he went on to be the hugest hit. Right. Yeah, yeah. He loved doing stand up. He said, if it doesn't happen, that's okay. Yeah, that's care. okay. And look what something. happened. Yeah. And yeah. that's got to be, you have to have so many stories of people like that who were, because we see that even here where we see people who kind of come on at the beginning mm -hmm. and then they end up being a, a big 
deal. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's always I knew you when. And they're yeah. a lot nicer in the beginning, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they we never see them again, Sharon. No, it's true, really. In the beginning, they're just like so uh, gracious and welcoming and glad to be on. And then by the end, they're all peopled up, you know, with all of their well, you people know, that's you have to get through to talk to them. It's, yeah. it, gets, it gets a little nutty. Now, on that note, I mean, did you guys enjoy doing celebrity interviews or did you enjoy just as much when you just kind of had regular folks, people around the Twin Cities, that type of deal yeah. versus the celebrity interviews? easier, at least for me, to do the regular people, yeah. you know, the psychologists, the authors, even the politicians. Celebrities, for me, you had to actually be into them, you know, really care about them to do a good interview with them. <laughs> right. And some of them you, you care about, care? And some of them you don't, <laughs> you know? So then you're kind of phony because you're trying to remember your questions, right. you know? Plus you have to be kind of careful with them. Yeah, well, you know, that's true. You know, you, you can't ask. Steve uh, sometimes stepped over the line and got actually <laughs> removed <laughs> well, that's from some of our Hollywood true. things that's because he, he wanted to really get to know them. He sure. didn't want to say, yeah. So, how was your movie? Yeah, it wasn't you know, just yeah. So, I'd ask him a question like, Tell me something about you that nobody would know is true. Yeah. And they go, What are you trying to do? Drive me. What are you doing? Yeah, they say, <laughs> get him out of here. Manager? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, no, At the ABC yeah, yeah. interviews, they, they, one time they said, throw him out. He did, was. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So this next one I was really excited to ask you guys about because Tom Arnold has been here um, a yeah. couple of times, and Tom is always a hoot to have around here, and he loves the studio because he has memories of being here and of co-hosting with his then-wife, right. Roseanne oh, yes. Barr. Oh, right. Wow. There they are they on the show. Did you guys remember that? They yeah. filled in for you guys. They did. We would sit in the audience, and they would do the show. Yeah. You know, they didn't really fill in, but just when they were... When they said they would do the show, we just sat oh, in the at, audience. She used, what she's, she used what feminine she's, napkins yeah. for, for shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> you never knew what she was going to do. And yeah. I remember the first time they were on together, actually, we were interviewing them, and uh -huh. we had a plastic surgeon on. Right. Remember that? Yeah. And they were talking about liposuction. And uh, they were saying how much they, they could take out at a time. Do you remember that? Right. And, and you know, the, the doctor said, well, I don't know, maybe as much as five pounds. Yeah. And she said, how many times a day can you do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's so they, funny. they were so unpredictable. Yeah. Well, and they that was when funny. they were obviously together, married, in love with each other. And then, yes. like, Tom was saying that, I mean, those were, after that, I mean, they never spoke again. I mean, they yeah. hadn't even spoken until that Comedy Central roast. And oh, really? so it was. Well, they're, you know, Roseanne's pretty volatile. Yeah. Yeah. She was, you know, like, we were on her show. Uh, you know, it's just extras or something like yeah. that. Cons, and and yeah. people were really pins and needles around Roseanne. You got to watch out because mm -hmm. she could either love you or hate you. Mm -hmm. And if she didn't like you, you were in yeah, she, trouble. Mm -hmm. She doesn't seem like the kind of person you'd really want to cross. No, yeah. but they liked us. Well, that's good. <laughs> but a they huge talent. Yeah. They, they yeah. did then. They yeah. Seen this. I mean, really. Just <laughs> so amazing. Cindy Crawford, tell us about that. She was on the show kind of as she was on the way up. And she actually looks about the same today. She looks time. exactly yeah. the same. Time's been so great to her. Look at the hairdos, though. It's so wow. cute. I had yeah. that calendar. <laughs> oh, Steve memories. still does. It drives me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so a lot, I mean, people coming through, is it, it's got to be fun to look back at the at the hair. I mean, especially for you, Sharon, you look at the I hair in the outfit. Every so kind fun. of hair possible. Didn't I? Every single hairdo that was uh, in, uh, of the time, you know? <laughs> yeah. You got to wear it. Okay, and then finally let's talk a little bit about Oprah because Oprah, yeah. you, mm. you met Oprah because you were Oprah's lead-in, right? You, wasn't right. Good Company on for right before Oprah mm -hmm. for a while? Yes. And so you got to do Which some helped. kind of promo stuff with her. You guys yeah. helped Oprah. We you know, her, Oprah was yeah. great because we had some of our producers <laughs> would go from here to produce the Oprah Winfrey show mm -hmm. in Chicago. Oh, okay. And Oprah really appreciated that because the producers here are really good. Yeah. Because you're doing a show like this and the people that are trained to do it, they're good. Oh, look, that's us on Oprah. Oh. Oh, we were terrible on Oprah. What? We were awful because we just, I clammed up totally. I was completely freaked out. We kept waiting for her to ask us a question and she was, uh, she didn't. I mean, everybody else, the other yeah. people who were on with us, it was a show about people who do talk shows around the country. Okay. Right. And they would just jump right in, you know, and be yeah. oh, oh, very and we were big. Doing, and we were sort of, yeah, we were, we're Minnesota kind of Nights. Minnesota 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 this one's talking and that one's talking and we're just clammed up. The show's over. We're like, mm, okay. But, I, but yeah. I remember that moment at the end because she, she looked at us and she yeah. said, I just love you guys. You're just real people. Yeah. I'm and not that, sure well, that was a compliment. we were kind of quiet, real people. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. Sometimes real people yeah. talk, but not us. <laughs> I mean, really, it was, you know, we you, were, think, yeah. you would think doing a show like this for years, yeah. you'd get yeah. so comfortable that you'd be fine no, with it. No, we didn't do Minnesota Proud on that. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, 
know, we, we go into that level. It's like, hello. <laughs> so when you're in San Francisco, is it ever happen that there's a Minnesotan walking around who happens to see you and recognize you or say something? Some. Yeah. Sometimes. Not, not so much, but I tell you, when we come back here, it's surprising. Because oh. I think we don't look the same, but people say, oh. Yeah. Yesterday at the, at the hotel, the guy said, Steve, right? <laughs> and you are... Sharon, it's oh, very rare. Yeah, so, no, 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 no. Yeah, so people in Minnesota are great. Here, I mean, so. I, we're frankly surprised that they recognize us. It's been and, a it's, long and it's time. really nice, but it's like friends, you know? Yeah. You know yeah. how it is here. People come up and they'll be, you know, quietly engage you in conversation. And it's very nice, just mm -hmm. like we never left. I love that. Yeah. Well, you guys are in town for the JDRF event, right? That's so tell right. us what this event is and, and why you're involved. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that when you're on the air, you have the, the opportunity to promote so many things mm -hmm. and so much good in the in the in the Bay Area. I mean, it's Twin Cities. And when we were on the air, um, they decided to walk do the the walk for the cure uh -huh. for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund. Um, that was over 20 years ago. Right. Yeah. And we bought in into it because we had friends who had been really affected by yeah. um, diabetes. Right. So what happened was they came to us and said they wanted to do a walk. Well, the Mall of America was brand new mm -hmm. at that yeah. time. And there was concern that the mall would be a flop. Everybody was worried opened. about Isn't that hilarious yeah. to think about now? Yeah, they it's thought so it might funny. be a flop. I know. So, you know, they asked us what we thought. And we said, hey, why don't you do a walk at the mall? That mm -hmm. would be great. Mm -hmm. So we started the walk. They've been walking ever since. I guess the first walk was about 2,000 people and $50,000. The last walk was like 22,000 people and two million dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Isn't that great? I mean, it's, it is. So for us, we feel it's one of the most significant things we did yeah. while we were here yeah. to help others in the community. We feel, mm -hmm. you know, really attached to it. So what's going on tomorrow night is, is uh, they call it the gala, and they've had this going on for 15 years where they honor people mm -hmm. who have been big contributors. Um, uh, to uh, the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. So this is what we're gonna, we're gonna MC this tomorrow night at the depot and uh, see a lot of old friends and hopefully raise some good money to help find a cure for this really, really devastating disease. Well, there are tickets still available and we have all that information on our website and to make donations as well. Steve and Sharon. Thank you guys How so much. Hey, you guys are great. My pleasure, thank How you. Fun. It's really fun. Come and see us at any Let's hug it out. We love these see the Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We've got more Twin Cities live coming up. <laughs> you guys want to host the rest of it? No, no. We'll do the Tom and Roseanne. And the hair keeps getting short.